Uh, I'm Jeremy Chung, age 22, from Claremont McKenna College. Uh, I was born in Pasadena, but grew up in Hong Kong, China. Uh, typical, good-sized Asian family. Uh, I've got two siblings, uh, one brother, one sister. I'm the oldest. Uh, two parents, not three, not four, fortunately. Um, Three of my grandparents are fortunate to be still alive, and um, we try to live, fit as many people under one roof as we can, you know, large family gatherings, Chinese New Year, red packets, big big feasts, the whole, uh, the whole Monty. I, I grew up um, not really into sports, you know, I just uh, kind of went to the library and kind of hid there for most of my childhood and uh, pretty much read a book a day and never thought I'd be ever do anything related to athletics. In college I, uh, I do track and field and um, I played volleyball and um, recreationally well, or from the high school level um, I played, also played basketball which is my favorite sport. You know, being a six-foot Asian in a land of very small people, I was finally coerced to do it by by my high school coach. And uh, as it turns out, I was able to grab the ball and not lose it. So I think that started started it all. Having watched the sport for six years, um, with, in, with increasing knowledge, it's really uh, become apparent to me that the beauty of the game lies in. Uh, the movement, the strategy, passing the ball, um, and it's really awesome when um, it's, a, it's a sport where some, all of a sudden you'll have incredible moments just happen and disappear just like that. And um, professional basketball especially is full of those moments and I just love watching it. Having grown up in China, basketball is the fastest growing sport there. And uh, Jeremy Lin is an inspiration to Taiwanese people, to Chinese people, to people from Hong Kong. But I thought he'd always be at least a decent player in the NBA. And um, uh, it was really good to watch him go from being undrafted, which is a huge deal, obviously, um, to being a starting point guard in one of the league's uh, most high-profile teams. I admit to obsessively watching video of NBA basketball every now and then, so just watching him from last year and watching him from this year has just been amazing. Anytime you have a phenomenon, it becomes very polarizing, and it's very easy for people to get sucked in into either spectrum, ex like an extreme end of the spectrum. And uh, um, for Jeremy Lin, that spectrum is race. and. Uh, it's really easy to um, perceive insults or slights to uh, when you're when you're when you feel so strongly when you're so polarized on an issue. But with regard to the phenomenon, that's where I kind of draw the line, and it's not really where I like to. It's not something I willingly um, spend much time thinking about because um, for me it's just it's just all hype and there's not very much substance to it. You just see the same stuff repeated over and over again. I really think that sports is one of the few avenues in the world where you can um, really free yourself from such boundaries and just do your thing. I feel like when you love a sport, it's, it's, it's the, that kind of passion um, is something you feel regardless of any ethnic or religious divides. And um, in Jeremy Lin's case, he, like, let's be real, he just really, really loved basketball and he worked his, worked his guts out. Race has been an issue in basketball, uh, unfortunately, as far back as the sport has gone. And now Jeremy Lin um, is really just changing that debate, altering that debate slightly. And um, I'm pretty sure if you asked him, he'd be uncomfortable with talking about why um, being Asian American, how being Asian American affects his role. Because honestly, people are here just to play the sport, and n no one particularly wants to stand out as like a racial trailblazer. Uh, since this person is part of, belongs to, is a rare example of achievement within your, your um, ethnic or social group, then you feel almost obliged to identify with and protect his reputation or his image. Um, and that's how a lot of my friends feel. And for me, that's not the case, but I think I'm probably in the minority, which in my opinion is uh, unfortunate.
my admiration for him stems from his basketball playing ability and the fact that he improved so much um, in a, such a short time. And um, and I feel like bringing race into it is just doing a disservice to his abilities um, because regardless of whatever he is, uh, he's just a really good basketball player. Uh, well, this is a sh this is a shout out to Jeremy Lin because um, and this is a real credit to how good you are as a basketball player because I never uh, I was so pissed at you when you carved up the Lakers for 38 points. Kind of, I wish Kobe had just stomped on you and just won the game, but he didn't. So uh, props to Jeremy Lin, and that really, and honestly, that just speaks so much to my res uh, my respect for him in terms of how good he's become, and I hope he becomes better. And not just because of the fact that he's Asian, but because it's amazing to see people succeed and come from almost to work so hard and achieve so much. Every time I touch that track, it turns into gold.